Howdy, howdy, folks. Uh, this video is going to be for all you folks who've been asking, how do I pull a still image from a video? Stay tuned. Uh -huh. is our Merlin and what we want to do is pull a still image from an 8k video so all you folks who have a the new Nikon Z9 or the Canon R5 or any other camera that shoots 8k video you can pull a still image from that and get an excellent quality you can do it with a 4k and a 1080p video as well you can pull a tiff image from that you just won't have the resolution that you would have if you're pulling it from an 8k so i use a program called topaz video enhance ai most photographers will be familiar with the topaz suite of products you've got topaz sharpen and topaz denoise and topaz gigapixel for enlarging but Topaz Video Enhance, in a, most people know it as an upscaling program. So you can take a 1080p and turn it into a 4K uh, and, and so on. And even slow down motion in a video that wasn't shot at 120. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go down into video format and we're going to pull a 16-bit uncompressed TIFF image. You do have the ability to pull an 8-bit TIFF or a PNG or a JPEG and so on, but for the purposes of this demonstration we're going to go with a 16-bit TIFF image. Now, to use the program, what I do is go down here and you can see this first box is called the start frame. And we're going to start at 201. The end frame is 207. You can set that to whatever you want, and I'm going to show you how to scroll through the frames. But currently on the playhead position, we're at frame 201. Now, if I move forward from 201 to 202, you can see he's starting to turn his head. But the motion is blurry. This is not an image that I would want to pull. But as I start moving and he starts to slow, slow things down, you'll see that the we will find a frame that we like. It's starting to get more clear here. And what I'm looking for in addition to clarity and sharpness is, see that little white light in his eye? That's called a catch light. And that really adds to your wildlife photos, especially with uh, birds and mammals. I look for that catch light, which I did not have in previous frames. So 206, we'll, let's go ahead a little bit more. He's dropping his head down. I like it when his neck is more extended. So I'm really liking frame 206. So what we're going to do is set the starting frame and the ending frame to what we want. I'm just going to set it to either side. 205 and 207 is that'll pull two images from me. 205 to 207. You have the ability to preview. I have never seen the point of doing that because I know this is the frame that I want. 206. So I just go ahead and start the processing. And well, we're waiting for that. If you enjoy this type of content please do subscribe and hit the alert button uh, so that you'll be notified of videos that I produce as they are coming out. Now, it's already completed that, and we'll go over and take a look. Here's the folder that it created for us, and there's my frame 206. So let's open that up and take a look at what we got. Okay, and there is the picture that we ended up pulling, frame 206. Let me zoom in on that a little bit for you. There's the image. Uh, it's not an image that I would print. Uh, I don't like the background here with the uh, cedars. I like it when it's a little more blended. Uh, the bokeh, as it were, is, is out of focus. This is not. Uh, this is just for the purposes of this demonstration which I received my Nikon Z9 and people were asking me, you know, how's the 8K video? 
what's the quality like for pulling a still image, how do I do it. So I'm using this image for the purpose of demonstration, but it's not an image that I would use uh, on my website as an example. So let's take a look at the image properties. What did we end up with? Well, it produced a TIFF uncompressed, which we knew that's what we asked for. The size is 189 megabytes and it says that it's 7680 by 4320 which is what we expect from an 8K uh, video and it's 33 megapixels. The print size is 25 by 14 and it's a 300 dpi image. Now if I wanted to enlarge this image for a 24 by 36 for example uh, which is a common framing size for canvas, I would put it through Topaz Gigapixel uh, AI and I can enlarge this thing to 600% if I wish. So that is the software Topaz Video Enhance AI that I use for pulling still images. I'm going to put a link uh, to that down in the description. It is an affiliate link. Uh, I do appreciate your support if you're going to buy any of the Topaz products and you click on that link, it will uh, give a small commission to Cool Wildlife, which supports you know, future content like this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments about or questions about how to do this, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Appreciate you watching. Sharing this content with you is so much fun for me. If you want to help support the channel, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, bang on the alert button, share it out, or give us a comment. It all helps and it's much appreciated.